Hi, I'm Dr. Shantari Popescu, and today I'm showcasing my label for a fictitious snake oil brand. Now, why did I decide to do a label of a snake oil brand that doesn't exist? Well, the answer is quite simple. I decided that it was a rather humorous and also rather good way to test my skills in designing labels, logos, and other such things. I've started making such things when I was very young, and I've proven to be quite interested in them. Naturally, I decided to take a design class at Freestyle, and now, of course, I'll show you my process. First, I made all of this in Adobe Illustrator, because it is my preferred method of creating such uh, designs. It's very efficient, and of course, very good to use. I predominantly use the pen tool, but I occasionally used a few other tools as well. Obviously, the fill tool, occasionally the brush tool for filling in a few little things that didn't fill properly. Now, first of all, I started off with the basic uh, logo layout. This, of course, would be the focus of my label design, because what's a good label without a good logo? Now, you may notice a placeholder head in the center. This will be fixed later. But first, I just needed a general idea before I did a photo shoot. So, next up, I designed everything around that logo. You know, all of the little information and, you know, additional things you might need to know. Also known as information, as previously mentioned. Now, I decided to then, you know, actually finish up the logo. I took a photo of my brother, who looks quite similar to me, and, of course, does have a beard, which I found to be rather fitting for the idea of a snake wolf salesman. So, you know, put him in a bowler hat, nice shirt, bada bing, bada boom, simplify the image a bit, trace over, yada yada. You get the point. And then, of course, I implemented this into my logo design. Now, I wasn't quite satisfied with it yet. There were a few things that were wrong. Firstly, placeholder font. I changed it to something more fitting. Secondly, the colors on the logos weren't exactly what I wanted, so I decided to replace a few of them with something a bit more red, simply to draw the eyes towards them, because they are the most important parts. And thirdly, I just did a little bit of tweaking here and there, changing some, changing some of the text sizes and other such things. Now, this is a wonderful design, but what is a logo without merch? So, as a part of the project, I decided to, of course, do a few mock-ups of the image on some merch. Some bottles to hold a snake oil, a mug, and of course, the dropper that it would be placed in. Now, I am rather proud of this project. Of course, I am interested in hearing what feedback you have on it, and ways I can improve for my future projects. After all, I do wish to improve my craft even further. I'm going to the California College of the Arts, after all, to improve my graphic design skills. I hope that you will provide rather helpful information on how to improve my graphical design skills. And I'm waiting forward to hear it. This has been Dragos Andrei Popescu, and have a good day, or night, depending on when you are hearing this.